I would like to recommend this service to you, which I believe will be very helpful to survivors of narcissistic abuse. Being Verified provides you with access to public information so you can make better and safer decisions. If you are currently dating, especially online, you need to be aware of a few alarming facts. 53% of people lie on their dating profiles. One in 10 dating profiles are fake. 42% of Tinder users aren't even single. Even if you think you know someone, they may be hiding details about their life that could affect your future, such as DUIs, drug charges, or financial red flags that could seriously complicate your future together. Being verified helps you protect yourself by scanning public information so you can learn more about a potential date or partner. This link gets you 15% off. All you have to do is input their name and state, or even just an email address, and being verified will scan through millions of public records and reports results in seconds. Being verified will let you know contact information, address history, relatives, known associates, neighbors, criminal records, traffic records, bankruptcies, job and education history, and social media accounts. Being verified could even continuously monitor this person so you can be notified if anything changes. This can be a very powerful tool in the early stages of a relationship. Don't get catfished and don't get caught off guard. Try being verified today. reason why narcissists are so cold, the reason why they are so unemotional, unfriendly, unwelcoming and unsympathetic, the reason why they are so controlled, restrained and inhospitable, the reason why narcissists are so cold is actually very simple. They are cold because they are lacking warmth. They were brought up in an environment where there was no love, where there was no fondness or tenderness, where there was no feeling of concern, gentle affection or warmth. That was something that they didn't get to experience in their childhood. That was something that they didn't learn So they grew up to become these cold-hearted people who are lacking affection and warmth. They grew up to become unfeeling, unloving, uncaring, unsympathetic, unemotional. They don't care to meet your emotional needs because no one ever met theirs. They never learned that that is an essential part of a relationship. They might have been spoiled in their childhood. They might have overindulged in material things. But no one ever tried to connect with them on an emotional level. No one really took an interest in them. So they grow up believing that none of that really matters. They grow up believing that image and reputation is more important. They focus on superficial things. Things that only exist on the surface. Because they learned that that's what gets them attention. The narcissist will always be cold. 
they will always lack affection and warmth. No matter what you do for them, no matter how you treat them, no matter how much you give to them. Because that is the dynamic that they have experienced in their childhood. They were taught that they are unlovable. They want love. They want to experience an intense feeling of deep affection. But their idea of love is very different to what yours might be. You may have learned that love is unconditional. Love is about acceptance. You would do anything for the person you love. You believe in them. But for the narcissist, love is more about what you can do for them. To them, love is about how you can improve their lives or make them feel better about themselves. Their idea of love is very selfish. Narcissists only seek out people who they can use to meet their own needs. There is no need for love. That would only get in the way of them getting what they want. Their disorder is designed to help them survive emotionally. So it has to block and deny love to protect them. It has to block and deny love to ensure that they always get their needs met. Sometimes it may seem as though the narcissist loves and cares about you. But it isn't real. Narcissists can be very manipulative. They know what you want to see. They know what you want to hear. They've studied people and movies to see how they're supposed to act in a relationship, how they're supposed to display kindness and affection. But it's not coming from a real place inside of them. They are only doing it to get what they want from you. And you will notice this when you have an argument with them. They will always bring up everything they did for you as though they only did it because they were expecting something in return. Nothing a narcissist does is for free. They are always expecting to profit at your expense. And you will find that whenever you are around a narcissist, you are always getting the short end of the stick. Even while they are playing the victim. The longer you spend around them, the more demanding and the more colder they will become. They will never be happy. They will never be satisfied. You are dealing with a bottomless bucket that can never be filled. And you will only run yourself into the ground trying to please them.
Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon and receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsviver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.